It is I will, Monday. I will yell test it soon. It is Monday. We're still, you know, we need just like a minute or two of us like sitting here. Contemplating. Looking off at the wall pictures. This is called me dreaming about whiskey. I'm looking now. I'm just drinking my coffee. At what is about 890 board games. But. And wishing I had more time. We do have one person in. I did not pull up the chat box. Ooh. Give me a few He's seconds. He's going to do here. a pop out. He's going to break it out. I'm still, I'm still, I'm looking at Automobile, which is by a designer named Martin Wallace. He used to live in the UK. He now lives in New Zealand. And I just did a recent review of his American Civil War game. I saw that at yeah. the bar. Yes. We're in. Like to do Chat box pulled up. Duncan Harmsworth is nice. here. George Kaplan, Drew Bills, Christopher Malloy, Good Amy. Go Habs, so Daniel Stephen. Brown, Whiskey Throttle. Oh, Whiskey Throttle is here. Good. Look, uh, we well, got I, two brewers. Love it. Uh, two Not brewers. So secret speakeasy says test it. But I'll do that officially in a little bit. <laughs> That's why I whispered it. Uh, Whiskey Throttle is responsible for us having this bottle. Two brewers, Yukon single malt, peated version. Bam. This is Canadian. This is batch seven. Look at that strappage. And I forget what the ABV is. It 40, is 43%. 43%. Which is about, ooh, I love the peated aspect of it. That's the strap. Release <laughs> 07, Yukon. You like when I strap it. Strap it. That strapping takes a lot of work. It does. It's precision work when you're working with that Glen Karen glass. Strap it. You know what we got to do, Daniel from Glacier. Fed Daniel, Fed. are you ready for a live stream? If we sent Pull you in, an, sent, if we sent yeah. you an invite, are you ready? Can yeah. you come in with us? Are you watching in your underwear? Or possibly at work. He's got the no. He's got the day off. He says so we go, can pull you in. I tell you what, we're going to send you an yes. invite, and right. if you can come go, in with us, go wax up your mustache. Because make it look nice. I don't know if you have a mustache. Uh, we're going to bring you in. No whiskey throttle, Daniel Brown. Not you. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to be clear. Let's pour <laughs> this. Didn't Are mean to get working? your hopes up. Daniel. Yeah. All of a sudden, he's like, "I can come in. I can come in." <laughs> oh no, not you. Yes, yeah, not you, sir. Sorry. <laughs> the individual that gave us the bottle. We just did the Noble Collection from Crown Royal. That'll be uh, appearing later. Uh, their bourbon mash. The third, yeah, new Noble Collection, 13-year bourbon mash. Which they have to rename it. What are they going to rename not, it to? Well, no, not that one. The, oh. the bourbon mash one is going to get renamed. Like I think the they have to name blend. that one too, though. I think they've got to drop bourbon off of both of them. Oh, do they? Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, uh, so anyway, from bottle. from Canada. Now, some of the debate with Canadian whiskeys oh. is Canada hoards all of the good whiskey for themselves. They send very little to the that states. That doesn't seem – Canadians are so nice, I doubt they would do that. But no, that's almost true. Think about it. The, um, the, lot, the lot 40, 40 cash, cash drink, drink. that did not come in to We the had a friendly Canadian that, that – that allowed us to sample that. We got sa a sample of it. Yeah. Fact is, it's a good sample. Uh, uh, how would we politically say we want a bottle of it? Bottles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If anyone out there has resources, uh, we'll buy it. If you have a case and you want us to review it, no, it, it's we phenomenal. Want some more of the lot forty. Canada's case. blowing up. I'm going to tell you right now, Canada's killing it. I think it's going to be the hot thing for 2019. 279. Um, 278. It may be hot already, but I actually believe 2019 is going to be the year of Canada as far as whiskey goes. Uh, I still think Japan maybe owned 2017. Would you tell me if we went with that? Um Ju Maybe uh, even 26. Julia is watching. She says to Daniel, <laughs> what? You gave the whole bottle? Uh, no. N absolutely not. No. no, that didn't happen. It's The camera makes it look big. Yeah. This is it just, adds 10 pounds. It's actually a small. That's a small yeah, sample bottle. This is like a 50 CL. Yeah. <laughs> We've enlarged it. My hands are actually quite petite and tiny. <laughs> <laughs> but I grip it like this. It's well, and, and Daniel Brown, he's pointing out that the Canadians are so nice because they hoard it for themselves, the good whiskey. Oh, but they're coming out with some brilliant 
cracking good stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it can, I'm telling you, I believe, I'm going to call it, Canada is going to explode, and not in a mean way, in 2019 as far as the whiskey goes. Did we say uh, two, you did. seven, you nine? Did. Are you stroking on me again? You're yeah. stroking? I forget. <laughs> I get to talking. I'm looking at comments. Right. I'm listening to you. Sure. That's hard to do. Your ears are probably bleeding at this point in time. We just filmed how many? Three shows? One blind bottle, one blind box. Review. We did. Did we do four? I think we did three. three. This is our fourth. We did the Crown Royal Bur Thir Noble Collection 13 year bourbon right. ash. And we did uh, yeah. Oban 14. And that was a 14. That and was a nice we one. We did um, the new Wild Turkey Long right. Ranch. So those tuning in right now, this Matthew McConaughey personally delivered that bottle to my house. Yeah, and then Bart started kissing on him because he's so good looking. He's attractive. I brushed his hair. <laughs> that didn't happen either. But Ju Julia says, oh, it's good to know that that's only the title bottle. She says, wait till you get, or the tiny bottle. Yeah. Wait till you get to Canada to see the real size. We're big here. She they're, said. they're big. You know what we're going to do? We're going to test it. Canadian style. Daniel is coming in. There he is. Ooh, All right. He's coming in. Look at that. Twinsies. Did I make it work? <laughs> that looks great. Look at that shirt. I've got a Boba Fett thing. Oh, there he is. I'm here. I can hear Julia. Yes, yes. and we're in right the background. On. I love that. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, guys. I love that. That's something, a sweatshirt. Something still needs turned down or off. What's I, in the background? I heard it. Yeah, I heard it. A Bart delay there. Oh, there's a. You never want me on delay. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm say here. Bart delay is kind of like Vandelay. Vandelay Industries. So we really we just decided to go live with this bottle. Daniel was commenting, also known as Whiskey Throttle. For those of you that don't right. know, it's kind of uh, like a double blind entre. Yeah, another. Yeah. But, oh, and someone had asked earlier, what bottle were we looking for? That's the Lot 40 cast strength. Love it. Yeah. Which we've had. We had a sample, or we had about eight ounces, six right. to eight ounces of it. We had enough of it that I wanted more. Wow, this Where's is it? good. <laughs> Holy moly. I, I took a sip out of habit. And it, and it got... what, what are you looking for? The Lot 40 cast strength. The empty bottles, I think, the back empty. in the room. You drank it all? You only left me this much. Bull corn. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay, now I'm going. Hey, how was the uh, the stay in the it's empty? How was the stay in the haunted uh, restaurant? Or was it was it a hotel or is it just a restaurant? Now I need to turn my speakers up. Oh yes, definitely. Uh... It's gone though. I can tell you the long mm. 40 is gone. That's the cast right. strength is gone. Now I need to turn Once I had a sip of it, it basically grabbed me by the love handles and made me drink more. Once I had a sip of it, basically. Nope. We've still got a delay going <laughs> on. There's right. still That's some right. volume on there, Daniel, right. somewhere. We're, We're all right. I'll fill time. Everybody, look at this Pete over here. Uh, we're in the midst of the. Make America Pete it again shootout. This is very ad hoc, so people yeah. just got to roll with it. That's right. YouTube at its best. Mm -hmm. Make America Pete it again shootout. Mm. We're still getting, so you still got maybe the, another video opened up on your computer still there, Daniel. So, so this is, there said, um, there's a sticker on here that says, says Chateau Lewis, Edmonton. Um... Let's see, it's peated, the smoky profile of the complex, of this complex and fulfilling malt displays the positive influences of a wet campfire and barely cooked s'mores. Wow. Sorry, Edmonton, Alberta, on Kingsway Street, Northwest. Uh, and then it says Whitehorse Yukon, which I don't know enough about Canada, but it is glacier-fed streams are the, the water that they uh, use here. Uh, Aqua Vitae come in. Aqua Vitae Ooh. was huge in getting Ooh. the uh, World Whiskey Day set up for most huge. of the U whiskey tubers and getting that going. It was short notice. We, he really organized that last minute. You know, uh, you know what so else I like about Roy? The way Aqua Vitae talks to his Patreon supporters. Mm -hmm. We're supporters and we got it. And I'm like, we need to do as well as he does. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do. 
Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm not hearing the echo anymore, Daniel. You must we have got it muted. I muted everything. I somehow I had uh, had a second window open there. So. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Looks like uh, you got a haircut. It's looking good. I forget where I forget where when someone asked where Horst was. That was really organized, short notice. We only had so many people we could fit in. Right. I don't know if we. Oh, it was Single Malt Alliance. Uh, ben uh, was asking that, and he commented earlier that he was in his underwear at work, or maybe he was saying Daniel was in his oh, underwear at work. At work. I don't know. If you can work in your underwear, that's you're in a good job. <laughs> I uh, did I mute Julia? I can put Julia here. Yeah, bring Julie in. Julia can come in. So. Oh. I don't think she has the Hangouts downloaded yet, but we can just oh. do it. So she's the not there physically. Oh, I can send her the invite. Does she want to come in video wise? I don't know. If she's set up for that. Oh, okay. Well, we'll play it by ear. This tastes. Oh, you're gonna bring her in on the phone. Look at that. Well, I had her on the phone, and I hit. It must have hung up there. She's in the boondocks somewhere. Do, do you have the two brewers, Yukon peated single malt, with you? No. I'm gotcha. still in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Oh, you're in the motel. Okay, you're just off work. Yeah. Hi, the, you're on uh, live with uh, Scotch Test Dummies via phone. Hi, Julia. Howdy, guys. Julia! Can They can hear you. She says she's not oh. set up for video. So. Yeah, Got it. good. Now, the uh, I sat down last night. I just popped it I last night and, and sampled some. Join in on the chat. Perfect. Okay. All right. Less confusing. Talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> That's Julia Photography is what you'll see in the chat screen. Yep. Yep. Oh, you muted her by accident, it looks like. What? Yeah. No, no. Just now we're. Yeah. She's going to be in on the chat. Yeah. This is good. This is all ad hoc. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what we That's do. YouTube. It's natural. Right. Uh, Yukon, though, or two brewers, Yukon peated single malt. I sat down with this last night. Very citrusy, a very big vanilla blast. And the peat is more it's, of a, I feel it's a subtler mesquitish kind of peat. It is, and it's very slight. It's yes. actually not as strong. And a nice uh, super chat from Malted in Montreal. Woo! We don't have the cowbell with us. We're going to have to bring up the, uh, yeah, the cowbell is permanently at Scott's, what I call Cobra Kai Dojo. <laughs> Have have you guys seen the Netflix? The first two shows of Cobra Kai are free. Have, have yeah. has anybody? Have you seen that? Yes, I watched the first two. I uh, of course am of the generation that grew up with that. Me too. Um, Us too. I did not. Yeah, we're about the same age. Yeah. Um, I I think I hope that they're going to turn it around where it's Danny Larusso is the bad guy yeah or yeah i don't know there it is do it again do it again he's trying to do the cowbell hello thank you malta to montreal well, yeah. that's right uh, a holiday there isn't it victoria president's day sweet yes it is very nice you know or i don't know if they call it. i don't know if they'll make Larusso the bad guy or if they're going to i don't know I don't know how they're going to do that. I've seen the first two, and I'm tempted to get Red Tube just to watch the rest. I haven't. I oh, have you'll no love idea it. What you're talking about? The writing is phenomenal. So you've seen the Karate Kid, right? 1984. Yeah. Beautiful show. Uh -huh. Everybody Ralph, knows Ralph about Mr. Miyagi, right? Yeah. Sweep the leg, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Take the knee. Wax on, wax off. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Well, now they've done Cobra Kai. The first two episodes are free on YouTube. It actually showed up. You said I'm, Netflix and you said YouTube. What's it free on? Sorry, it is YouTube. It's okay. not Netflix. God knows if I said it wrong. It is yeah. YouTube Red. Okay. All right. But the first two are free. The very first episode you get to see from Johnny's perspective, the blonde kid. Mm -hmm. And and let me just, I won't ruin anything, but preface, preface the guy that's like he hit his pinnacle of who he is when he was a senior in high school and life's kind of sucked ever since. All right. And then LaRusso, Danny, owns five car dealerships, obviously a multimillionaire. And he's got commercials that are like, we cut, that we chop the prices, right? It's real over the top weird. And then the second show, which is free, is all kind of from LaRusso's point of view. The writing was so good. A lot of 80s sprinkling of like at uh, one point, Johnny's telling this young, like a uh, millennial about Guns and Roses. And he's like, what's that? And he's like, Guns and Roses? 
And it's just awesome. Hmm. I loved it. I think it's going to be huge. People are going to be all over YouTube. Whoa, another one came in? Yep. Donald, Donald Taylor. Taylor. Donald 99. Thank you, Donald. Woo. Uh, now, my bourbon journey is in here. Uh, comment, that's Scott. Uh, he's got his own uh, YouTube whiskey review You're channel. Good on Check that. him out. You're good on that. But he I says, can barely cheers. remember your name. Cheers, Scott and Bart. Great job Saturday. Wish I had more time to join in. Yeah, Saturday it was all you. Well, no, just well, our hour block. Yeah, right. it was a much bigger deal. But mm -hmm. uh, Scott and my bourbon journey, you're on our short list to try to get on the show and, and, and spend some time with to, to let people meet you. Yes. So we just need to get that done. Right. We we, we were organized. And I want the guy from Belarus. Is that where he's from? No, Bulgaria. <laughs> Maltland, Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Yes, I yeah. love that guy. Belarus. I don't even. Know I I met Belarus a girl from Belarus is. once. That's a story. Is that in Indiana? No, that's actually where Chernobyl went off. Yeah, I met a girl from Sofia once. Wow, which is in Bulgaria. Wow, <laughs> that is impressive. <laughs> Somebody buy Bart a globe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if it comes in the form of a board game. Ooh, now you're talking. I would play that game. There you go. <laughs> I like that Daniel's in Moose Jaw. I'm not sure how far that is from home. He's staying in a motel. It's a day off, and he's wearing a Scotch Test Dummies, the stamp of approval, as I call it, shirt. Or I had, this I is, had to rush and put it on, though. Yeah, he was in his underwear. This is actually our top seller of our new designs. It is. Yeah. And you called it. You said, I love this the most. Yeah, at first, yeah. It the stamp, good. the dummy stamp. Julia has a YouTube video out now. Oh, really? Of her hike. She went to Jasper in Alberta, and she's up on the mountain wearing your shirt. Wow. And she gave her Jeff. friend a uh, her first taste of scotch on World Whiskey Day on top of that mountain. Beautiful. Was that Glenfiddich? Yes. Yeah. Love it. By the way, let her have her take a couple photos wearing the shirt. We'll get her in on her traveling dummies. She's got, I think she's got a couple from that trip where Perfect. she's got a t-shirt on. Perfect. We'll get her in. That is great. What do you know? Uh, tell us a little bit about the two brewers, Daniel. So the two brewers started as a, a brewery making beer. And I think that is the benefit they have over some of the new distilleries that have been opening up is they actually understand the malting process. Mm. So they have, as you see on the tag, you need to leave they it. have uh, four varieties they make. They do not try to copy the last one they made. Everyone comes out differently. This is their second peated one. It's mm. more peated than the previous one. And obviously they are buying peated barley to do it right yukon is way up north uh so they will definitely have glacier fed water yes um and i've never had one i didn't like the only one i never tried because it was gone before it probably got out of the yukon was batch number one the classic the cl would have been a classic yeah and number nine just got released last week Sorry, I was well, they've got this. different batches, so that's the four different releases that got they it. do with different batches. So they listed the classic, the peated, the special finishes, and the innovative, but this is just on the back of their tag. Brewed, batched, and barreled, and then under the midnight sun because they're so far north. That's right. Love it. White Horse Yukon established 2009. Yeah, this is lovely. <laughs> Uh, what does Roy mean about doing a John Wayne impression? <laughs> I don't know where I didn't see it. I was, I was, you got I mean, you got kind of you sway come in, you're got off the horse. You do, you do look in, yeah. like you are from the Yukon and you've got a six shooter That's under right. the table. And you walk up to the bar and you say, You look like the Duke a little bit with that haircut. A little bit, yeah. If I, if <laughs> I just got to be a little bit bigger, That's all right. And, and stature and. I can hear it now. You'd be like, fill your hand, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Say you should not go around decorating your establishment with my friend. That's more unforgiven. Know, the Duke isn't in there. Yeah, I actually but, gave you one from the Duke. Yeah, I know. Okay. okay. <laughs> my favorite John Wayne movie is where he plays the boxer and goes back to Ireland. Ooh. 
and he has the fist fight with the brother-in-law all the way through the entire village and the priests and everybody keep going in and trying to drink more whiskey while they're taking bets on who's going to win. I've got to see this. What is that called? The Quiet Man. Ooh. Okay. Which I am not the quiet man, but. <laughs> right. I love it, though. Yeah, no, I love uh, uh, Rooster Cogburn is obviously what I referenced, the original, which I love. Mm -mm -mm. This is good. Uh, I, like I say, very impressed. I thought the Pete would be a little bit more present in it. It's still good. There's almost like a like, skeetiness to it, to the peat. It almost reminds me more of like a Highland Park peat. I mean, okay. it's just like a, like maybe 10 PPM. Okay. It's lower, it's lighter, it's on the tail end. We've got a show coming up where I actually call out that I believe 2019 is going to be the whiskey year for Canada. I think mm. Canada is killing it. Well, I, I hope so. And uh, obviously there's, there's lots of the – more ability here, less laws in some ways that they can do more things, right? But you just have to wait. It takes a little while, right? I sent you that sample down last time, and I think this stuff blows them away. The other distillery is in Saskatchewan. They call themselves Lucky Bastards, mm -hmm. and they've done okay, but they haven't come out with anything as good as this. Wow. I got a buddy in Regina. Yes. So do I. Cool. He, might, he could even show up here. We see him quite often. As He calls himself Whiskey Sneerson. Really? I'll see. Yeah, I got a buddy named Bixby in Regina that's a huge board gamer that used our house as a way station when he was headed down to Dallas for a big board game convention. The Quiet Man. The Quiet Man. Uh, Daniel Brown just pointed out there's an Irish whiskey called The Quiet Man. This I got for Christmas two years ago, and it's still sitting here waiting to be reviewed. I Look may, I, yeah, I may or may not have sampled it on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> that actually may very well have come from that movie, I swear. It may. Eight-year-old, single malt. Uh, what does it say? I fear what? I fear Guggen. Oh, no, it's on, on fear. See, Sean Shuan. We, Some Irish pronunciation. I'm word. sure we got it correct. On fear. See, <laughs> on Shuan. Should we taste it? Um, I'm running out of glasses, but let me grab <laughs> some. Hold on. Let's go make some out of duct tape. Well, you got anything hey. in the you got anything in the room there, Daniel? Hey. Or you know, is it a dry day? Yeah, I might have to do jump up and go grab something. Yeah, go grab something. Go we grab can't it. drink alone. Yes, Danny wants to see what kind of pants you got on. He's a pants aficionado. <laughs> <laughs> is Danny even in? I bet not. He's probably working. If you if you send him a message and said yeah, the Jordash jeans are live, Jordash, he would be like, Jordash. Let's see what Quiet Man's like. I should put the Quiet Man on the TV and behind me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's a little bit more raw. That's good, but it's got a little bit of rawness at the beginning. A lot of lemon furniture polish. Yes. Ooh, hold on. I'll quit talking. Do that again. What should I choose? The Canadian Weiss is what the Weiser's called the Legacy. Um, it's complex whiskey with a hint of rye. And I think they literally mean a hint. I think it's almost all corn. And oh. the other one is an SMWS. It's called the Bee's Knees. That's the one I did when I did my uh, late night slot there with the man from the Faroe Islands, Rooney. Because wow. he's an Dude. SMWS member as well. As a matter of fact, I found out that he owns more bottles than I do. Oh, that guy's got it. We'll do the Wisers. That's very yeah. Canadian. You betcha. And it's a better breakfast ram. Aha. Wow, he has more than you. Yep. Pop. Well, considering he has to, he travels as a salesman. Mm. That he... Uh, so he's bringing a bottle or whatever back with him every time. So he's done quite well. I'm impressed. Genius. Actually, recent a lot of lemons, a lot of. Uh, I like the well, two brewers. The two more. brewers. It, it, it's probably a little bit smoother. Mm -hmm. Quiet man, like he's a little bit rougher, but very similar. Lemons, lemon um, meringue. Yeah, kind of a little of bit a, of that uh, furniture polish. Though you're right. Yeah, I, get I got a little bit of the, pledge. Yeah. But nice light citrus. It oranges, is good though. Lemons. 
but I, it is that's not, the on that's that's on the quiet man the irish right. whiskey it's not actually holding up to the two brothers and let me go back and forth here and see but yeah almost a little bit of a, i got a little bit of a slight smoke on the quiet man a little bit of a char. Uh, julia says did you eat breakfast yet dear she's worried you're going to be under the table <laughs> She's always looking out for me. Eh? It's okay, Julia. She's smart. The dummy. She's smart, right? Well, we. This is all very unscripted. Yeah. You and I haven't even shaved. We've been drinking since like ten uh, last yeah. night. Yeah, but that was for work. That's okay. That's different. Right. Yeah, it's all part of the job. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have that in your clause somewhere that I have to drink. This is my job. Yeah. Yeah, we need that in there. We don't like it. We don't. No, no. But we do this. It's a. It's so a duty. You don't have. It's to, a. It's basically. a. It's a duty. Right. You're sacrificing us. <laughs> yeah. Why we train? You're sacrificing for us. Right. A lot of training. This is why we're, we train. Right. Here. Right. There, we, there's two movies that are about that. Eh? They're both weird and they're total polar opposite by the same producer. What is that? The Black Swan and the Wrestler. Really? I haven't watched either one. I've seen the wrestler. Nope. The wrestler's great. Black Swan. The wrestler was great. Same producer did the Black Swan. Huh. Thriller. No, but that's really what it was about. It's about people that took themselves physically to a certain level for the entertainment of other people. I don't get what no, I don't get what Julia is saying what here. What is she saying? You guys haven't stopped since World Whiskey Day. True. It's still World Whiskey Day. Right. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 And it's a very we, long day. Yeah, we have we have yet what? to stop. <laughs> Our it's motto over? should be cease we do not. <laughs> yeah, it's like how many hours is in World Whiskey Day? Yeah, have you not seen our 12 hours of boom, Julia? Which is coming up July 7th, 2018. Yeah. Well, matter of fact, let's talk about it real quick next Sunday. Uh that's a good one. It's gonna be the 27th. Dram for fans. 2 p.m. Central. Right. Uh with the Edmonton Scotch Club. Yep. It's Maybe. gonna be it's, it's a fun, it's really our first charity kind first, of event to help right. raise funds for food local banks. food banks. And maybe, maybe, maybe be. Uh, Mark Gillespie may join us that, yeah. depending on where he's at and his connection. I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, 90, I think 98%. Probably. He was thinking about joining us in person, which would have been a nice surprise. That would have been great. We yeah. couldn't get it done. No, I think well, he, that would be very yeah. good. Yeah, I think he's in Ireland, actually. So, yeah, we're going to, after this, we'll close out World Whiskey Day. We'll hey, Nemo's take a little in. Nap. Nemo's in. Nemo, I need a... Uh, if, if no, I we have, got his. Oh, we got Nemo. Yeah, we did, oh, we did get Nemo's yeah, he's photo. At Sorry, Nemo. We got your photo. We just <laughs> recorded a show with you. Bart, Bart likes you so I, much. He's yeah, about ready I, I was like, picture. Nemo! Nemo's in! Send us another picture of your burrito. No, that comes up. Facebook burrito <laughs> pictures shows up in one of our pre-recorded shows. That's food. That's food. food. We mean food by that. <laughs> oh, I just about choked on my wiser. <laughs> oh, yeah. Careful. When I say burrito, you choke, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, how the Facebook was. Yeah, Nemo is a <laughs> is a big Patreon fan, and Nemo's got his uh his photo and his shout out in one of our pre recorded shows. <laughs> so, have you allowed Bart to read the book that I sent with that bottle of whiskey? You know he what? I, I am in it. Hold on. Should I bring it down? I'm about. Hold on. I'll be right back. You know, though, a little going side. I would. I, and I hate one's a Canadian peated single malt, and then and then we were talking the Quiet Man, and someone brought up the Irish uh, eight year Quiet Man. I pulled it out, just going side by side here, which isn't fair because one's a Canadian peated, one's an Irish whiskey. Uh, the Quiet Man is very good on its own. It's got really maybe a little bit more punch to it. I don't want to say one is better than the other. Uh, the the Yukon Two Brewers peated single malt, a lot of vanillas, a lot of citrus. Very good on its own, lightly peated, I would say. And I'm not sure where you think it's coming in at, but I think it's probably just like 10 ppm. Uh, it may be in that area, I don't know, but it is a lot more peated than their first peated. The first peated one, it's almost more a taste of peat than it would be on the nose on the first one, and it was extremely light. So, yeah. this is uh, I don't think they're really going out for the hardcore high ppm optimal type style but uh, uh for I, those I, that have tuned in late daniel aka whiskey throttle is joining us he has his own youtube channel yes he's in, he's he's on a work uh 
vacation, basically he's staying in a motel. <laughs> work vacation. He's not at home usually, and he's joined us a time or two, or, or I've even tuned in with him a, a, once or twice. He's got a, a wonderful Scotch whiskey oh, collection. Wonderful. Uh, I think at least, at least three rooms of your house are uh, whiskeys. Yeah, they're very small rooms. Oh, he's ensconced. Right. Yeah, it's like the bottle of Brewers, the sample bottle over here. It looks bigger, right? You know, on yes. YouTube. Yeah. So, <laughs> a couple of things. I'm actually reading three things right now, but one is, and you're going to have to help us with the author's name, oh, Gavin's no. name. What? De Kermago. That's not it. Which what? Yeah, De yeah. Kermago. You've got it. Yeah, Davin. Everybody De knows Davin. You don't know how to pronounce I, it. I can say Davin, but not the last. De Kermago. Name. Say it again. De Kermago. <laughs> I think that's pretty close. Davin de Kergamo, and I'm pretty sure he signed that book for you. He did. He yep. did. So there's a uh, there's signage right if – I don't think we can see it, but it's right in there. We love it. For the Scotch Test Dummies uh, on Good Spirits, I believe is yeah. what he's saying. In his name. And I have just finished – he was talking about enzymes, and now I'm on to yeast. We were talking about microorganisms, which is great. He's so, been he's been all over uh, Instagram. I'm a reader. Instagram. So I'm, and I'm reading a Euro game book, which is great, and I am never heard. Of it. Yeah, I'm currently into the American Civil War in Chickamauga. You can say Chickamauga, but you can't say Davin de Kergamo. I've got the Native American River of Chickamauga down, but yeah, I can't say Davin de Kermogamaga. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I think you. You two should do a road trip through Canada. <laughs> we, we definitely should. I think it's that E A U X that threw me on the end of there. Yes, that would. See, lots of uh, people have trouble. Uh, now Ben from Scotch Malt, he appreciates it. Yeah, single malt alliance single, and okay, yeah, so Scotch and Malt. With, he's watching on both accounts. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. There I, you I, go, Ben. Yeah, Ben's five dollars. He liked uh, because he was he was single malt. He commented a single malt alliance a little okay. bit ago, and, and then when he was Scotch in his malt. underwear, right. when he was in his underwear, he can't Ooh. he can't claim to be with the SMWS. True. So then right. SMWS, you've got to be fully clothed, and then officially, probably even you know, in a suit and tie. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to say any more, but I don't think you have to actually have to be fully closed in the U.S. to be a part of the SMWS. I'm going to leave that there. But I'm going to pour a little of this SMWS bee's knees, which I don't think Ben got because it probably came all up here. The bee's knees sounds which, great. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm assuming there's some honey notes. Let's assume some people out there wanted to know what uh, <laughs> Distillery 42 was. Or we, was that, you can ask, and I would tell you that it's probably Tobamori <laughs> or Lechig. Mm. Oh, either one. Good. Well, it's bo they're both actually sister distilleries, basically. That's right. Like, wow. like Springbank, Hazelburn, and Long Road. Aren't you becoming the aficionado? Mm -hmm. I've got a cheat sheet for several of the, uh, the Your peated favorites. ones. All right. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Hold on. We're blocking that. Julia was calling him. Whoops. Sorry, Julia. Not right now. I'm live. <laughs> 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 Sorry. That's a tease. Wow. That was wrong. That yeah, was just sorry. wrong. <laughs> it's I trust Julia. You, that, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you do not know me. I'm just a no, goofy guy wearing hats. I've heard about the boys in Wichita. Thank you. <laughs> we used to be a cow town. That's right. Wyatt Earp had the police here at one point. Well, so the area I'm in right now really is called Little Chicago. Oh, really? Because they have here, they have a tunnel, the, moose, the tunnels of Moose Jaw. Hmm. And the... One tunnel is the Al Capone tour, and they take you across the street from where you buy your ticket. You go upstairs, and you're in a, well, bar slash brothel slash speakeasy. There is a uh, couple guys playing, automated robots playing, and a bartender, and they take you into what was Al Capone's office. Really? Really? And then they take you into the room that he would have been in and they open a closet and there's a door that goes down and you take the stairway down and you're in a tunnel. Wow. That was his escape route, apparently. I talked to an older lady that lives here and she says, I because I said there's no actual proof that he was ever here. She says, well, my grandfather worked with him wow. and he was here, or worked for him, I would guess would be the. So little Chicago is in Moose Jaw. 
Wow. Cool. Uh, if anybody was worried, uh, Julia actually texted her, sent in there, commented, LOL, yeah, that she was calling Bart. She does she, not have my number. Good sense she, of humor there. She right. gave Bart some kisses there, or me, I can't and, tell. And then that blind, was you. That blind. was definitely you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> blind Whiskey Reviews, that's John. He says, I can't trust Bart with those tiny hands. You True. got tiny, <laughs> hands. Right. Yeah, my hands cannot handle the Irish glass. <laughs> They're very soft and delicate. <laughs> Is that why you don't have any actual crystal Glen Cairns? Because they're a little too heavy? Probably so, yeah. The, the sheer lifting of them would be problematic. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then someone, uh, where's that? Go Habs wants to know if I got with your wife yet in relation to getting your manga shirts and throwing them in the fire pit. Thank you for finishing the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that let's go burn one right now live you know the manga shirts may attack you if you attempted to burn them they have their own power i'd like to see them pinned up in a gun range oh, oh that's a good boy. one wow scott can shoot i was at a gun range one time and there were several of us shooting and i looked down range and my hat oh. was on the target and the guys were shooting it what? no way <laughs> yeah were shooting your hat I'm like that's my hat yeah, why are like, you shooting pow, hat? Pow, pow. Wow. Did they Where say to hats? To hats. <laughs> I think I still got that hat somewhere with the mm. bullet holes in it, matter of fact. Used to know guys with guns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Julia just Julia, thank you. You make the you make the STDs look good. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> You were so generous. Thank you for the STD shirts. All right. That's Claire right. wants us to burn the shirts. No, you can't burn it. Let's let's, let's get back uh, real quickly. At least we started talking about two brewers. They should UConn, get single a malt. lot of attention. They're putting out a quality dram. Now, look at the bottle number that we have over here on this side. Oh, I was going to say. Uh, bottle seventeen thirty six out of seventeen forty. Yeah, there's only so we're, we yeah, we almost got the last right one. there. We were almost last in line. Hold on, Toon Van Rouge from the Netherlands. We've got a, uh, a European. <laughs> Here it comes. What are you playing? You're playing. Oh, I thought that yeah. was music you were clicking on. <laughs> What's in? Sorry, yeah, it is music. Very nice. He says, Thank you, "Guest too. show guy, great. great show." Sorry, what? Well, to hats. I can't read again. I am in the U.S. in August. Wow. Do you have any suggestions what bottle I should buy that's not in uh, Europa? Love it. Uh, greetings from the Netherlands. Um, that's tough. There's a lot out there. You know, it would be know harder to know what they don't have in the Netherlands. First of all, yeah. where are you going to be? Because if you're anywhere in the Midwest, we want to meet you. Tune is a Patreon supporter. He is. So send us a message. Super Scotch uh, Maybe God. what you're looking for or what we might consider. A good stuff bourbon. Like that. What would be a great... You know what? Take home... If you get anything, um, Westland has some great American single malts that I would suggest. Yeah. Let's go look who else came in here. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, oh yeah, I'm seeing him. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him the Aqua Vitae himself has joined us. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hello. What's up, Roy? How are you? Okay. Good. Sorry, I was, down, I was downstairs when you sent the link through and I was making dinner. Uh, well, I just sent it. I was like, let's see if Roy's available. You was in comment. What were then, you making? Because that's impressive. Well, that's a really cool thing to, to be asking. Part because um, I'm having a dry night and I'm having I was had a dry day yesterday as well and I'm going to continue to have a few dry days, um, <laughs> you know, just because of uh, the weekend and how crazy it was and I just give myself a chance to recover. But since I can't drink it, I decided to cook with it. <laughs> mm. So tonight, right now, um, I am making a, a chicken and a whiskey sauce. It's actually the thing that I got to make with the chef on BBC Radio recently. Mm. So that's what I'm making for dinner tonight. Uh, my wife's coming home a little bit later. And you know what I thought about doing? Trying to put a live show together where I actually make that because it's absolutely delicious. I was trying to, because I listened to that and I was trying to remember what it was he used and I can't remember. Um, well, I can tell you, I've, I've actually, I've lost the window. I can't see you guys anymore, but it doesn't matter as long as you can see me, right? Yep, we see you. Good. Well, you basically, you brown your chicken and a little garlic, oil and butter, 
and then you add some onions into into the pan. You take the chicken out, put some onions in or some shallots. We call them here, you know, the small sweet onions. Um, then add some. I'm using buffalo trace tonight. It's actually bourbon I'm using, and uh, so put a glug of that in it, a teaspoon of mustard, a, a little bit of honey, um, and then you pour on some single cream and you put the chicken back in, and it, it's just. It's fabulous. It's amazing how simple it is, and yet it tastes absolutely gorgeous. Do you clean up after cooking it or someone else? <laughs> yeah, I do the cleaning as well, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask him. I mean, I mean to say, I mean, quiet man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Julia just commented that she can see it's still World Whiskey Day to all of us. Yeah, basically. Oh, that's a good. I point. didn't know it ended. Well, World World Whiskey Day, I was playing games. No, that's true. You were playing games with our hearts because you didn't come on your own show. You're it, right. Caveman drinking caveman, right? No. Yeah. Uh, yes, he did great. Charles. Charles. Well, there's he's Charles. Also known as Drinking Caveman. Thank you. Also I, known as Whiskey Untitled. I just call him Drinking Who his partner is Wally, who's also, also known, known as, as Scotch Sniff. and Sniff. No, just Sniff. Sniff. Just from, Sniff. Also known as Scotch and Sniff. That's a yeah. lot of layers. <laughs> caveman is what I call him. He makes a great whiskey home blend. <laughs> but no big. And since Roy was in, in here commenting and we were talking about it, World Whiskey Day, well, I still get a little bit of char on that quiet, man. That's now, hold on. Decent. Hold on. I want to ask Roy a question. Roy, um, I may have been presumptuous in claiming 2019, since it's not here, as Canadian Whiskey Year. But do you agree that Canada is really moving forward and really strong with their whiskey? Oh, Roy, Roy's in Scotland. Oh, he's in Glasgow even. But, <laughs> but I think he knows that Canada is putting out some good oh. stuff. But he, put, well, but he started for world, with a very good one, right? You started with a 40-year-old Canadian. True. Yeah. Courtesy to uh, Rob, I had, uh, for World Whiskey Day, I, I kicked it off with a 40-year-old Canadian club. Wow. Um, which was delicious. But I have to be honest, I don't have much experience. You know, as soon as I step outside of Scotland, I'm kind of out of my comfort zone a wee bit with World Whiskies, which is why I tried to... Um, have a few of those for World Whiskey Day. Obviously, World Whiskey Day isn't about World Whiskies, but that's just how I chose to celebrate it, you know, because Scotch is World Whiskey to you guys, I guess, right? Right, sure. yeah. Right, in our category. Well, sure. and that's what I brought up with Charles. I was like, you know, some people are looking at World Whiskies and they're thinking, well, we need to do an Indian whiskey or we need to do a Taiwan whiskey or an Irish whiskey. And I'm like, well, to people in India... Indian whiskey isn't world whiskey. Rye whiskey is, and that's why me and, and uh, Charles had we're like let's, right. let's do rye whiskey. Right. I was and a little knew... covetous of your rye because I love rye. Rye yeah. is ahead of bourbon for me. That's right. That's right. So, but Daniel has threatened me more than once, haven't you, big guy? You've suggested that you're going to start my uh, Canadian whiskey education. I would love to, and as soon as I see a few more things from you that we've talked about, then I will be able to hopefully duplicate your blind review and send, uh, send something to you that way, and all single malt Canadians. That's what I'd like to do. Wow. Wow. And I've got to do them blind. Yes. It won't be the equivalent of your blinds because they're not something that you've ever tried before, but as you and I have discussed being in a similar uh, frame of mind is that why can't we just sit down and enjoy our whiskeys? So it'll just be a way to uh, make sure that that's all you do is sit there and enjoy it. Don't worry about writing down a note. Just drink it. Work out which ones I like. Yep. Well, and, and, and Roy, so in, on short notice, you did a great job of organizing Saturday. Literally, you started on Tuesday, three or four days ahead of time. Is, do you think that's something you're going to take on again next year? <laughs> <laughs> Even if I was up for it, you'd need to speak to my wife, I think. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what, what happened there? It was really cool because the first day when we – it was you and I, Scott, right? I put it out to you and said, are we doing anything? And you were like, well – not at this point, what are you thinking? And I just kind of said, okay. Um, then we put that kind of spreadsheet together and offered slots out to everyone. And I went off to a whiskey club tasting that night. And then I came home immediately and I did a, a live with Vin. So I was already really quite busy on Tuesday. But when I checked the spreadsheet in the taxi, it was already full. 
I mean, literally everybody just jumped on board saying, yeah, we want to do this. It was fantastic. So I appreciate you saying thank you very much. And it was a, um, an intense few days, but it was a team effort. And I think it, it worked out well. I really feel it for, for Mark at Whiskey Whistle because he tried his best. He did a pre-test. He made sure everything was fine. But just as he was going live, his hardware let him down. So, um, yeah, Mark couldn't participate as a host, but he joined as a guest, right? So, and it was, there was always going to be technical difficulties. Right, right. And as you pointed out, Vin was, Vin was right there. He was ready to take over and he gladly accepted the super chats that would have went to Mark. So that's right. That's right. And I don't think Mark's got any chance of getting those either. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed, I noticed caveman was caveman kept saying, great job, great job. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm watching as a viewer going, great job, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> On a worm show. They kept piling in. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You had, a, you had a fantastic night as well. You had the lots of appreciation from the folks. <laughs> And deservedly so. And you know what? There was somebody come on recently and said, uh, "Don't you think that?" Um, and I won't. Sh I won't call out his name because I've not asked if it's okay to share the comment. But somebody came on and said, uh, "Do you not think it's getting a bit heavy with the merchandise and um, and things like that?" And I said, "Well, do you know what's happening is that we're spending a hell of a lot of time here, and we don't charge anyone. YouTube doesn't charge anyone. All of this content is absolutely free. None of us do this for a living. It's all a hobby to us all." Um, and the merch is, is optional. You can choose to buy merch or you can choose not to. Um, Patreon is optional and so is Super Chats. And really, we do it. The reason that we support each other and we Super Chat each other is because we enjoy it and we want it to continue and endure. Um, but it will always, and I think you guys are very closely aligned with me as well, it will always remain free. And you only need to contribute if you feel that you, you want to and you're able to. Yeah. Well, and we talk about one of our upcoming videos that we just shot. We kind of talk about uh, the little statement you just made there. Mm -hmm. It helps us remain. Really, we do push. We've been selling. We've got good sales. We got good T-shirt sales. We got the coins that we sell. We, you know, the the Pete shootouts. We've got bumper stickers. Fiercely posters. independent. Yeah, it helps us remain. And, and we noticed that, you know, we said we really haven't reached out to distillery. Early on, we were like, we need to reach out to distilleries and right. try to get free bottles and sure. review this and that. But but and hypothetically, we haven't, we haven't had to do that, though. Uh, distillery X says, we didn't like your review of our bottle. We're not sending you anymore. We'd be like, great. We can't wait to talk about that. I mean, we yeah. don't care at all. I, I think mean, all of yours appreciate um, that we are much better at bringing them content if we're independent. Yes. And we can do it without... I mean, is even if a distillery sends you something, um, you have to accept it with absolutely no strings attached. Yes. There's, I mean, you must sense that even at that stage, there's a bit of discomfort there because you feel it's not a contract or anything, but you just feel maybe a sense of... of and we all want to remain completely independent. We all want to be able to speak freely about whiskey. And our viewership and the community that we are building on YouTube probably demand that as well. So I think with that being the dynamic, let us have our merch. I love your merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've had... Uh, Look at this. I'll show you this. Look at this. I've got, I've got these. I've got three of these. <laughs> I had to get a bigger glass. A bigger? And I put all mine in. Yeah, that is awesome. So, what size is that? Is that for one of your children? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, I, I could come back, Daniel, but I like you, so I won't. <laughs> no, no, don't hurt me now. There you go. No, that, is, that is my size. That is my size. So. I was actually going to give this, I was going to have this as a giveaway in World Whiskey Day, Ooh. but I like it and I'm keeping it. <laughs> no, I did love well, that yeah. right there. I gave, a, I gave away one of those shirts on the, on the live stream and Tom, Tom R won it. So we had that shipped out to him, but yeah, uh, and, and the same, you know, it's the, same for the, the merchandising. Yeah. If you don't want to buy it, you don't have to, if you don't want to support us on Patreon, that's fine. It's all free. Sure. YouTube offers this platform. We, it, it, it really is helping us remain, as you said, independent. fiercely, fiercely independent. It, oh, we don't. Oh, there's a Nemo. You know, we don't need to. Hold on, one more. What? Wow, good call. <laughs> I didn't know there was a double. 
Well, I've, I've uh, just worked out now that Sean Nemo is in. If you don't mind, can I say something to Sean? Yeah, absolutely. Um, he participated in the quiz on the live stream that we did for World Whiskey Day, and he scored nine out of ten in the quiz. He was wow. the only person to match him was Jason, who was my co-host. And of course, when Jason worked out that it was only him and Sean that had scored nine, immediately it just defaults that Sean is the winner. So there is a very nice Highland Park 30-year-old heading its way to you, Sean Nemo. So um, congratulations, my friend. I'm gonna, was, I'm gonna, I I'll, am Sean Nemo. No, I will say this. Sean will habeas oh. grab us, said 30-year-old. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you my address, Roy. Just put Sean Nemo on there, and you can send that out. No problem. Hey, you you got a really nice you got a really nice drum in that last blind challenge, Scott. Yeah, definitely a couple. Yeah, a couple of good ones. Yeah. yeah. So, do you, um, do you uh, gentlemen? And I want to talk to oh, you. Oh, hold on a sec here. Do you guys know who that? Jack? Know. That well, was that was the guy I was just going to ask you about. If you know a guy named Jack Conti. Yes, we know Jack Conti. He's he's the guy that we're all responsible or we're all grateful to for Patreon. That's right. And did you see when when we're talking about the merch and all this type of stuff, right? I mean, Jack Conti has reached out to Casey Nyset and all that stuff. I'm sure many people have heard about them. If they haven't, they're they're not looking very hard, and they're really trying to do this so that it supports people as creators. And if you think about it, people will spend a fortune on a T-shirt that has a certain person's logo on it <laughs> that has done nothing for them. They, they're just a fashion designer, this or that. You guys have made plenty of the people in the chats. So that's how I came around, laugh and enjoy themselves and try things that they've never thought about before. So to offer a shirt or glasses or whatever paraphernalia that, that uh, is created, is uh is a fine way to continue to share right i agree daniel i think those are really good words and they're, they're true words and i would also go one stage further to say that when you're talking about wearing somebody that's really touched you like a celebrity or an artist a music maker or whatever and you wear their colors or their brand or their logo proudly um people like the scotch test dummies have gone one stage further than that because they are not isolated we can actually reach out and touch these guys we can communicate with them and interact with them just um, not on, just right. Not on Facebook. Well, we love the touching. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I, awesome. I think it's it's a it's a deeper thing that the, you know this kind of YouTube thing, the live streaming, everything that you guys kicked off and have developed, um, has really it's it's fantastic. And yeah, we we like to show our appreciation. We like to kind of, I guess, wear it and things. I saw Eric did a, a video recently, mm -hmm. and he's wearing your your cap as well it's just it's just kind of so cool i mean these are channels that by any other topic by any other medium video gaming or whatever it is should be competing right and we're not we're supporting nope. each other yep exactly i'm i'm very impressed that you're actually wearing one of uh blind whiskey reviews shirts i am roy oh roy. I, i'm in plaid no <laughs> that's, this, is a, this is a trendy and c-shirt you know, I went, through, I went through my whole live on, on Saturday night, and Trenny and C was the channel I forgot to mention this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is definitely Trenny and C. Oh, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. So I apologize, <laughs> guys, out in Canada. Well, you watched. There, I mean, I'm sure, and I'm sure there was other pe there's other people we forgot to mention as well, and and, and it's hard unless you have a, a board up with e everybody's names on it. it it's hard yes. to to re just remember and mention everybody, and we got. We've made a lot of friends over the last few years, and especially starting the live streams. Well, you know, my memory is usually great. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention Roy pretty much all together through my whole show, so it was uh, a little embarrassing there, or, or or anybody else to tell you the truth. I, well, I think impressed. I think if you I, th I think if you take offense at that, Daniel, that's when ego starts to get in the way a wee bit, and I think we all just need to give each other a break and realize, just as the guy said there, that there's just so many of us. And it's difficult to remember everyone all the time. Well, for me to shout out to Ron Bout, I I need to go to the uh, Lockside Hotel on Isla just so I can get a hug. Yeah, he wants to give him. A he hug. wants to give me a hug if he sees me there. Yes. Uh, Ron Bout just ordered two coins, and I just got those in the mail earlier. Who will? And a quick shout out to Stamps.com, which has made my life easier because I'm even shipping international. Boom! You go in there, fill it out. Woo. It customs form is done. Print it off. Drop it off. Bye. 
Wow, that sounds like a promo, but Ooh. I know it's true. Yeah, it's both true and a promo. Yeah, Amy says, I would love to be in a crowd and someone yelled dummies as if you saw someone with your uh, with your <laughs> town. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I was in a parade and somebody yelled out, Scotch ass dummies! That was the first time I was recognized. Yeah. And it was actually a fan. Which was interesting. Because <laughs> usually somebody yells out it's not a fan, you mean? I had never had anybody yell out Scotch Test dummies before. I'd had some board game fandom done before, I'm, but I'm, not on the Scotch world at that I'm point. I'm waiting for when I'm walking through an airport, you know, no, in, no, no, no. in Chicago, you, Atlanta. You Dallas. walked into a liquor store and a guy from Kansas City with his girlfriend wanted a selfie taken with yeah. you. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was neat. And the girlfriend was, you know, I think uh, Chris Davis. Chris Davis, if I remember Davis, right, was his there name. You go. Yeah, right. Yeah. Was- well, I'm going to Isla for the Fishiel. I'm going on uh, the last weekend of the Fishiel Festival at the end of May, and um, I'll wear, I'll perhaps wear a Scotch Test Dummy T-shirt if it's warm enough over there, wow. and see if I can get anybody to come up. You can get the sweatshirt version. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Or, do you do, are you doing a jacket yet? You can get the hoodie, hey. and there is a jacket, I believe. <laughs> By the way, we have a UK shop up. If you're in mm. in the UK, mm. there's yep. a separate uh, spread shirt shop up on our webpage. You can go mm-hmm. to it. The shipping costs are, are right. greatly decreased. All those Nordic countries, so. you can get it in a hoodie. <laughs> yeah. I ordered my shirt from the UK shop. It got here in three days. I was quite impressed. Wow. Good. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And Ron Bout is going to give me a hug as well. So Whiskey so. Throttle, thank you for this gift from the Yukon. It's my pleasure. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. it. It's very good. I like it. Now, what is the price point on that? Yes. Uh, because it's a smaller distillery here in Canada, they are about 90 to $100. Wow. So 70 75-ish <laughs> American. Okay. Right. Yep. Yeah. But the same the same thing happens with that. It's I think as as we hear a lot of people say you don't get the good Canadian whiskey down there is because oh. it's it's grabbed up here. It's the same with some of the stuff in the US. There's no chance that I'm going to see an Elijah Craig barrel proof okay. because okay. they sell out before they, they don't even need to bother shipping it anywhere. Why pay for shipping when we can just sell it here? Yeah, true. Good point. Hmm. Um, I would think that's that's about top end. It is very good. It's very sweet. I, I would give it about an 89, maybe a 90 if I spent yes. some more time with it, right in that well, range. And I'm, I'm a huge fan of the single malt. So it's a Canadian single malt or Yukon single malt is what they call it. Yeah. James C., there'll be another one right now. Almost. Now. <laughs> <laughs> that's Canadian. He says, great impromptu live. Keep it going, STDs. Most people don't say keep it going, STDs. Yeah, they want to They want to put a stop to the STDs. Yeah, no, yeah. you cannot stop our STD. <laughs> uh, it's right at the 89, 90 mark. I think if, it was, if there was a little bit more peat in there, it might push it over the 90, actually, mm. which is weird coming from me. Sure. You've converted, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but there's a nice citrus sweetness to it. Nice vanillas. Nice, a lot uh, of lemon, vanilla cream. Lemon meringue pie. Mm, yes. You just hit it. Lemon meringue pie. Yeah. Very good. With a hint of the smoke in there. It's uh, Well, there's a little bit more than the hint. I just love heavily peated, which this is just peated, but it's delicious. Two brothers are really doing a good job out of the Yukon with their single malt. Uh, Dram Man eight five nine must have just tuned in. Oh my God, it's the dummies. Mm, and <laughs> whiskey throttle and aqua vitae. That's right. All of us together, we're still. We thought it was still World Whiskey Day. We've been up for yes. seventy six right. hours. I stepped away from my board game table just to drink a little whiskey. Well, Scotland, Canada, and the U.S. doesn't that cover the world? That pretty much does. If we had Japan, Taiwan, and uh, Tasmania, we would be good. Uh, Bart did just pick up the brand new batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof uh, A118. A118 just came out. Uh, showed up here 65.4%, I think it is. Right. 
So keep your eyes open, everybody that's watching. Uh, starting to hit the shelves. Does it still have the twelve year age statement on the side? Uh, it does. It does. It does. Yep. And uh, they call it whiskey of the year. We just want to say that we proclaimed this months and months ago. This is from Whiskey Advocate, but they're not savvy enough to claim that the dummies called it yet. <laughs> <laughs> that will come at some so, point in time. So do you do you know how to tell which batches these things are? Because it's, I have Yeah, the, the older bottlings is just by the ABV. Yeah. Which one do you have? This this is uh 69.7. Oh yeah. That's, yeah, the, that's, good, that's the good one. Well, that's the first one that mm, we had. That one's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. That's, that's the, the, the original, original bottle, bottle of wow. Yeah, that's the original bottle of wow. And then later they came up with this new tombstone style is what I call it. And on there is where they started naming them. I'm yeah. not a fan of the naming them. I know you like I it. I like it. I, think I know you like it. Yeah. I kind of like the old style where you just had to tell by the ABV, which is dumb, but I like their old style better. Scott's Yours, more into well, that. I was I trying am. to think you can, and you can look it up online, but the 69.7 is probably from the fall of 15, maybe spring of 16. Uh, what you do there is alchemy. Somewhere. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I can't remember last Saturday. <laughs> the Alzheimer's kicking in with me and you're like, hold on, let me do some mental math. You have a well, bottle gets, probably from the summer of 2015 when got, the snowfall was heavier. I've got what? Se I've got several <laughs> bottles of ECBP at home because he's always hitting oh, me up. Oh, you buying it? He's well, like, you both I need another it. bottle. And no, I'm no, like, no, 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 no. We've got Whiskey Scout literally like text me and says, "Hey, I found some bottles. Are you interested?" I said, "Yes," and then he texts back says, "Scott already met me, gave me cash. He has them all." First, I'm like, "What the hell?" First of all, what you the didn't, hell? Well, you didn't even know what batch of ECBP. I did it not was. know. Or, I was like, "Sure, I want more." And or you're if like, we "No, had it. no, it's so, the C." There it's the C that speaks that, for itself. That came out on the third you day of our Lord in 2017. You just know it's good. Yeah, I'll <laughs> yeah. take it. I want it. Oh, wait. I right. don't know if we have yeah. that one. Yeah. So what did you do? Like, I'll take all seven bottles. I'm like, what the hell, you glut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then he's like, if you want some, you got to go through me. That's I'm like, bad. really? Really? <laughs> is that how it is? Actually, I did call you, though, for the new batch because I was like, man, I've just bought several, and I just got another batch of uh, the sea batch from last year. Right, at which point and my said, ears started to bleed. I, I said, thought, the I'll new just one's out one. if you want to go yeah, get Yeah, I was one. like, whatever, I'll go get a new one, whatever. <laughs> Let me ask you, while you're um, on, the, on your right-hand side there, Scott, there's a bottle of Quiet Man. Now, I was in and out of the, of the chat and, and watching you guys when you sent me that link and while I was cooking. Um, and I mentioned uh, Daniel sounded a lot to me like like a Canadian John Wayne. Yes. Um, was that – did you bring that out after that was spoken about then? Yes. Yeah, we were talking about that, and he brought it up that that was one of his favorite movies with John Wayne was The Quiet Man. Mm -hmm. And Daniel Brown commented – Irish boxer. And said that there's an Irish whiskey called The Quiet Man. And boom. I said, boom, it's right here. Let's yeah. grab it. I actually got this. This is two Christmases ago. And we it's have been, yet to review. It's still sitting here. Yeah, and there's a lot of dust. I don't know if you can see it on it, the it lid. It keeps getting That's pushed back. It's been sitting here. So we pulled it out. Daniel, has anyone ever mentioned um, that you've got the whiff of the John Wayne about you? Um, no. I think I've heard something about uh, another Western movie. Somebody thought I was an awful lot like Doc Holliday in, um, I can't remember which. Oh, I thought you were going to say Brokeback Mountain. Oh. No, never even heard of that one. Oh, oh. good call. Was that produced in Wichita? You don't even want to know. <laughs> no. No, you do have a John Wayne-esque feel. Even the way you move through your sentence is John Wayne-esque. Mm, that's because I have to think in between each word. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my version of, of Scott here, Julia, to keep me in track. Thank okay, you. so here's today's trivia. Oh, watch out. Oh, nice. A, a question for he, Daniel. He has trivia. Which one of us is Bart and which one of us oh, is Scott? Oh, come on. Oh, it's too easy when there's two of you together. <laughs> Obviously, the guy on my left is Bart. Thank you. Is that one, that one or this yes, one? Yes, no, his on left. My yes. left. Right, that would be me. And the other guy is Ardbart, I think. Yes. I, first of all, I love the way you talk. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's a running joke. Daniel's called me Bart uh, at least 72 times. As he should. As he Even, should. even before I met you guys, I was actually <laughs> calling you Bart in the videos. Love it. Hey, thanks, Ron Bout, for it. tuning in. I think we need to be signing off should probably, we, We've too. gone long. Yeah, we've your, gone long. Your forever. son is actually present Monday. in the room, and he's like, get he's done, waiting. Dad, get done. Yeah. How you doing over there? You doing good? Carson. Fine. Carson's good. All right. <laughs> Is Carson your cameraman? He's the designated driver, actually, because yeah. he needs certain amount of hours. We got to do some, go do some. He's got to get some driving hours yes. in here when we're That's down, a good so. way to work it. Uh oh. Only for you, Julia. <laughs> what did Julia oh, say? Oh, she wants the sexy voice. Oh, yeah. That's definitely not from the either. Duke. Okay. No, no, that is not me. No. Give the sexy voice. Hello, Julia. That wasn't sexy. No, was that's pretty old. sexy. That's that actually, that was good. No. You were even excited. <laughs> I miss you, Julia. <laughs> if you, there was a Canadian cartoon you guys might have missed when you were growing up, and it was like this. I'll get you next time, Gadget. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not Inspector sexy Gadget? Voice. What is that? I don't know. That's Roy, like, Roy, we need to hear your deep voice, Roy. Give, give Julia no. the sexy voice call yes. home. This is about as deep as it goes. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, wow, that sounded a little dirty, that actually. Was not sexy. Yeah, this is as deep it as it goes. That. Wow. <laughs> that, <yeah. laughs> uh, Come here, little girl. girl. Get me. Pick me up and move to uh, We sound like we've Optimus, all, yeah. Optimus Prime yeah. in yeah. a yeah. bad trailer. Well, there's somebody that's here. not that's just seen our live show that's jumped in and is like, what's going on here? <laughs> I want to say Darth Vader stuff, but I'm not going to because I'll, I'll get it wrong. Mm. Especially with the Star Trek geeks. All right. Let's, <laughs> Once uh, again, thank you for this book. I'm currently reading it, as you can see. That's an anniversary card in there. Uh, that is uh, from Davin. Davin de Kurgamo. <laughs> <laughs> say it faster. Davin de Kurgamo. That was it. Yes. Also uh, reading Chickamauga. By uh, Shelby Foot. No one cares. Yeah, oh, wait, people is that care. The good one? Well, no, no. Uh -uh. Stuart Woods did Euro Games because I can't read just one book at a time. <laughs> there you go. Should you wrap it? It's time for Julia to come home. Oh wow! Say something there, uh, Aqua Vitae. Take care, boys. See you next time. <laughs> See you, Daniel. <laughs> See you guys, thank hey, you thank, very much. Hey, thanks for uh, coming yep, in. Thank if, you. If you don't know, check out Roy, also known as Octave Vite. Yes. Check out Daniel, also Whiskey. known as Whiskey Throttle. Whiskey Throttle, great show. You betcha. You bet. Uh, thanks to both of you for coming in on short notice yep. and impromptu. Very, very impromptu. And scotch it, you scotch gods. Salancha. Here's Salancha. Dummies. <laughs>